Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review. This one was sent to me by the gracious people at Soradora. From the house of Soradora, it's gonna be Soradora Gladiator. Now, let me go ahead and show you the box that it comes in. It comes in a box like this. And it sits right in there. Just to kind of show you a good idea of what the presentation looks like. It does come with a microfiber cloth. Now let's go ahead and talk about the notes. So the notes in this are grapefruit, mint, green apple, pineapple, Sicilian bergamot, Italian lemon, white flowers, coumarin, Indonesian patchouli leaf, virgin cedar, bitter orange, geranium, Tishan vetter, and woody notes. Now, more importantly, let's talk about what you smell. I'm gonna talk about the opening first. That's the dry down. <laughs> okay, so the opening. So first of all, I wanna bring this up. This gets compared to Aventus, and I actually don't think it smells like Aventus at all, so I wanna just bring that up. But in the opening, you're gonna get the two most prominent notes, or at least what I feel is most prominent, is this really nice mm, aromatic mint and this juicy pineapple. And I think the pineapple is obviously why it gets compared to Aventus, but those are the two notes you're gonna pick out the most. As it dries down though, for me, the, the note that kind of outshines the pineapple is I'm gonna get more of the apple as this dries down versus the, the pineapple. This is actually a week dried down. So I was trying to shoot a bunch of videos about a week ago and I didn't get a chance to. And when I went to respray these, the dry down was still on it and very noticeable. So I was like, okay, well, let me do a new one with the, the opening, but you're still gonna get the mint. So the mint continues for the life of the fragrance, but you're gonna get a little bit more of that apple, which for me, I like, cause that is one of my top five notes in fragrance. I love the green apple note. You're gonna get that coumarin. It's gonna give you this kind of nice sweetness to it. So you're gonna have this like slight fruitiness. It's definitely very aromatic, woody. Um, everything else kind of blends it together. As it dries down, it is gonna be a lot more difficult to identify uh, the notes individually. So they're gonna be a lot more blended and it just kind of comes off as this really sexy aromatic fragrance. Yes, it does have mint. Yes, it has some greenness, but I wouldn't really consider this an overly green fragrance by any means. But in comparison to Aventus, I think what it has that maybe people liken it to Aventus is it is a very versatile fragrance. So in terms of performance, three sprays is very loud. I wore this a lot of times, but one of them I wore and uh, I went, I got my hair cut and it was just blazing off of my skin. And it was by my, my boy Eli, uh, shout out to him. Um, he was wearing Percival, I was wearing this. So my fragrance, I feel like was kind of drowning his out, um, but uh, I wasn't too mad about it. It smelled really good. To me, it's a very sexy fragrance, which I'm gonna talk about um, a little bit later in the video, but it is a very uh, easy to like scent. So yes, it is a niche fragrance, but it's in the, the realm of niche fragrances that are easy to wear, easy to love, not just by fragheads, but by the general public. So performance, three sprays really good projection for the first couple of hours but really good sillage bubble that continues throughout the life of the fragrance on my skin over 10 hours very easily i do have very hydrated skin so it might last more on me but it is an extrait and everyone that i know that owns a bottle of this does also get good performance off of it so i would say easily you're going to get over 10 hours with a really good uh projection bubble for the first two to three and then the sillage bubble that continues for the life of the fragrance at least until the last couple of hours which i would say you're still going to get it up to the eight maybe even 10 hour mark and then um it'll be closer to the skin after the 10 hour mark at least that's the experience that i got i think almost every time i wore it maybe one of the times i wore it i got under 10 hours but every time i wore it i got over eight so for me as long as you don't spray too much guys if you're spraying too much of anything you're going to go anosmic to it and it's going to feel like it disappears really quickly so be a little bit more careful about that and you'll get pretty good projection out of uh, stronger fragrances, you know, this being one of them. Again, this is a nice aromatic fragrance. You're gonna have a little bit of uh, that herbal vibe. You're gonna get that nice fruitiness. Again, at the beginning, the pineapple just comes off nice and juicy. 
And then if you like apple and if you like kind of like the apple coumarin uh, mixture, I think you're definitely going to get that in the life of the fragrance and, and the dry down of the in the dry down of this fragrance. And it's really enjoyable. You're gonna get a nice spiciness from this, nice woodiness from this, just super versatile. I mean, I feel like if you can't tell by the notes, it's a very versatile fragrance. In terms of who can wear it, I don't wanna put an age on it because it does have a nice sweetness to it, but it's not too sweet. So it doesn't have an age. Uh, it is an aromatic uh, fragrance. It is gonna lean more into the masculine direction, but I actually think that it's pretty unisex and there's going to be a lot of women that like to wear this one as well and i think there are a lot of women that like to wear this one which it just smells really good so i get that yeah i mean every time i smell it like this is the opening and it's starting to dry down so the apple's coming out more to me it's a very sexy fragrance I don't have really anything negative to say about it. I got the entire Discovery set from Soradora. I like a lot of them, but this one by far is my favorite. I'm really glad I have a bottle of this. And I'll also say this, when I run out of this bottle, because it is a 50 mil and you know, it's an X straight, so it'll take me a minute, but I'm gonna get another bottle. To be honest, once I'm a quarter through this bottle, I'll probably buy another bottle anyways, because uh, I get like that. When I really like a fragrance, like when I feel like I'm using it, often i just buy a backup bottle just in case i know i'm probably never gonna get through any bottle but you never know and when you like a fragrance that much you know you don't want to risk it so i pretty much think anyone can wear this and in terms of when you could wear this versatile any time of year for sure it's more of a spring summer fragrance but because of the versatility of this fragrance i'm gonna say four seasons and you can wear it anywhere. The only thing is if you're gonna wear it to work, I would recommend sticking with maybe a spray and a half to two sprays because it is pretty strong and probably keep them contained under the shirt because I think it will project past that. So versatility through the roof, I would say if you're gonna wear it on a date night, maybe just put like a little bit behind each ear and one spray behind the neck, done deal. It is very sexy, so I actually really do recommend it for a date night. I think that it'll kill on a date night. In terms of the cost of this fragrance, I actually have a coupon code for you guys. It's Glam Finds 10. I'm going to pop it up here, pop it down below. This was sent to me by the brand. Um, shout out to them for doing that. It is uh, valid on the Soradora site, which I'll go ahead and pop down below. It is actually valid on anything from Soradora, if I'm not mistaken. So it works on this or any of the other fragrances. I think my second favorite from the line was Orchidy Rouge, uh, but I will actually go through the Discovery set if you guys want me to and give you guys my opinions on it. I can already tell you right now, this one, my absolute favorite. I really, really like it. Again, I love the versatility of it. Compliments, this one got me compliments. Every time I wore it, which, the minute I sprayed this one, I started wearing it a lot. Uh, I haven't been testing as many fragrances because the ones that I do test and I like a lot, I just wear a lot. So this is one of the ones that lately I've been wearing quite a bit. It's just really easy to wear, really enjoyable to wear, and I love how it smells. Like, I'm telling you, that apple note, once it comes out in the dry down, mixed with that mintiness, it's just really sexy and I just love wearing it. If you've tried this fragrance, comment down below. Let me know what you think. As always, remember to like this video if you like it, be subscribed to my channel, hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop another video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.